YouTube, what is up? Today is Tuesday. As you can see here, we got a bunch of orders. Shouts to everyone who placed an order because there's definitely some good stuff in here. I guess I'll just begin right here at the corner. Protection pack. You guys know the story about these. They really shot up in value. How do you feel about the new ones? All the new colors. I feel like they're going to do the same thing Nike did with, with Dunk. They're just going to mass produce them. Yeah. Just like they did with the 550s. Once they see people like it, then they just overdo it. The colors are cool, but it's not going to be the same like the first set. Yeah. They're a little much. The navy colorway like, is really cool. Speaking of really cool, we got the playoff 12s and the playoff 13s. Playoff 12s are not doing as well as I thought they would. When I talked about the investment of this sneaker, I'm talking long term. I'm not thinking short term when it comes to this shoe. Again, uh, silhouettes that Jordan actually wore, especially silhouettes and colorways that Jordan actually wore, to me, always kind of stand the test of time and hold their value or go up. Another great one is this playoff 13. We had these on the shelf, honestly, since the store opened. It's a size 12, a little too big for me. We put them back on eBay the other day and they sold Olympic 7s. I mean, a lot of classic good stuff. Then we have some stuff that uh, we just put up. It sold for pretty good prices. Sakai's, Amas, two pairs of shadows, black metallic fives. We literally had over eight people DM us about the black metallic fives asking to get them for 250 and they sold for I think 335 shipped on eBay. Jordan, if you wanna show that big pun, custom true blue three. The Funny thing about this shoe is just like, this is like the beauty of the sneaker game. It's just like you let stuff sit and just let it appreciate. Not really appreciate, just wait till the right person to buy it. And this is one of those shoes, because I remember when we bought this shoe, we bought this shoe I would say almost two years ago now. When you look at it, buying this sneaker, you're like, oh my God, that's crazy. Why will you buy this shoe? No one's gonna buy this shoe. It did take almost two years to sell, but at the same time, it's just like all these people, they don't survive a sneaker game, they don't have patience. So this shoe right here, just like a testament of just patience, basically. And so for a really, really good price, definitely way more than what we paid pay for it so really happy about this so other than that i want to try something new today to start it off we're going to count up how many orders we have how many orders we got three six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve about like 40 i have 37 we'll round up for the first go around but uh every episode we are going to send the amount of orders cash to a random commenter so today we have 37 orders we'll round up to 40 bucks cash so 40 bucks cash to a random commenter like the video drop a comment what your favorite shoe is what your favorite episode is whatever the comment is we're going to pick a random person and we're going to uh vent Mo, Zell, you guys, 40 bucks, or whatever the amount of sales we have to begin the episode. So next week, we have 100 sales or 20 sales, whatever it is, we're going to uh, send the cash to a random commenter. Shout out to everyone who watched the last episode. That was just like a quick episode of us in the arcade, kind of, uh, you know, having a good time. Wasn't really much going on there. So shout out to everyone who liked that episode and watched it. Getting nice outside. I was going to put the shorts, but I didn't want to be the crazy one, but hey. that, that, you was the first one to do it. Oh, okay, God, I've been running around all morning, and I had to throw the shorts on for sure. So other than that, we have a lot of work to do, a lot of drafts to get to i kind of been slacking a bit so hopefully we can get all this stuff packed up and shipped out and see what else happens today we interrupt this program to bring you a special report okay guys uh, we're adding this section in from a later video forgot to remind you guys we will be at the just nice sneaker convention in delaware on sunday so if you're in delaware or near delaware pull up get your ticket it should be a fun event we will be cashing out so if you guys have some cool stuff whether it be sneakers jerseys whatever you think it is bring it by we'll check it out make you an offer anything else for delaware yes yeah, so we reiterate what a said we will be there there's like a third or fourth event going so more than likely gonna be another great event we will have a table we will all be there like a said if you have anything you want to sell come pull up to us you want to talk to us chat with us you want stickers we might have stickers might have beanies we don't know yet but yeah pull up on us it's gonna be a great event and yeah because of the event we will be closing early on saturday we will be closing at four o'clock so we're gonna try to announce that throughout the week so if you guys come after four o'clock on saturday we are so sorry that we missed you so shouts to just nice secret convention for having us out there we will be there sunday the 27th in delaware pull up on us should be a great event see you guys there what are you valuing the stuff at uh, Lights. Maybe like a hundred. Without this shoe, I was at four. Like 425 credit. But one, two, three. With these three, I would do an even swap. These three? I was at four and I said 425 cash. We have it up at 450. I'll call it 425. Make it an even swap. Could you do anything with this? I'd probably just pass on these. 
Just because of the size and it's a weird size. You want to do that? Back in two weeks and train them back in. What is this? Uh, you doing these? Yeah. Right. Grab both of them. You want a bag? That would be a bag. You offer everybody else a bag. There you go. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I always come in at the right time. Always at the right time. Oh, I'm not. We knew we had those already. We had them the other day. We want the white color, man. This is crazy. The only way to do it is you're not even sold on them. I what? Just, you're not 100 percent sold yeah, on them. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. That's why I ain't gonna trade. What are you looking at for these? Three seventy-five. That's an eight hundred dollar shoe used. A thousand dollar shoe new. Eleven maybe. I can do like three in the shirt. We have the same mark. I said three twenty-five in the shirt. Yeah, I said three in the shirt though. That's cool. Take them off my hands. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this shirt, but I feel like I'm missing out if I don't get it. Top shelf, baby. I know the panties right now. I was panicking. Check these bad boys out. Sheesh. Some sandpaper, maybe. I don't know. He said sheesh. I'm trying to make sure you know they're restorable. They're actually not that bad. Yeah, they're, they're a lot decent, better. But they're a lot better condition than I thought. What you think? Four hundred. Clean them up, bro. We wanted both of the 150 for both. 150? Mm -hmm. You sure? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, fuck it, I'll do it. I mean, yeah. Alright, bet. Hey, you want a pen? I'll pick that. Right, cool. You want bags? Uh, yeah, please. I got you. Alright, you go, bro. Right, thank you. Appreciate yep. it, bro. Appreciate you. I came straight out of work from my work. Alright. What are you looking for for these? I was trying to get 350 range, but I know that's market, so I seen what you guys would offer, either cash or store credit, but they're DS, never even tried on. And what are you looking for this guy? That I don't even know. I was trying to see what other, maybe just trade for another toy you guys have here or something. Three would probably be the best I'd do. Probably like three, three store credit, maybe a little bit of less cash. Okay. Like how much cash if I don't if I don't find anything? Uh, like two seventy, two seventy cash, three uh credit. What about would this have be something like of interest? Uh, probably we're we'll probably just passing a hack. I feel like I think we have one of these already. Okay. Um, and it just sits on our eBay. Yeah, I figured I didn't. I was like, let me just bring it in. Um, all right, so I'm gonna just look around, see what you guys have. Like, if I was to trade these towards these, cause you use a three seventy, I think you said right. With no box? Uh, yeah. And we literally just put those up. Mm. I would say, like, would you be able to do 340 and then I put the 40 on top? But you were at 3 on these, right? Oh, you're saying, uh, then drop that to 340 and then add. And I add 40. 40. Yeah. Um. Just because no box, I mean. I could probably do 50 on top. 50? Yeah. Can I see the other one? Yeah. You don't mind? Sure. Right, I guess I'll just do it. Alright, how do you like to pay the remainder? Uh, I pay with my type of cards, that's fine, or Zelle. Whichever uh, is easiest for you. Zelle's cool. The, uh, shout out to that guy for pulling up and making a trade. He DM'ing us over the weekend. He wanted the size 10 metallic 5s that we had. Couldn't get any cleaner for a used pair, but they left earlier today because someone got like Ace said earlier. They paid the 330 shift, 335 shift. So that was a really good deal. But he came in and still got um, another good shoe. The white cement 4s. Just got that shoe on Friday, cleaned them up. I think he did the listings today. So they weren't up for 24 hours. But he traded these fragment 3s for them size 10 and a half love the um the yellowing on the back a really clean shoe man i really like this shoe the shoe used to sell for like four or five hundred when it first released but you know it took a dip and also he threw this in for us um the space jam lebron james um super stretchy toy it's like really really, really soft but oh we got a phone call top shelf oh uh, hi uh how much did you guys uh, give me for uh easy slide onyx the black box type 8 brand new how much are you looking for? Maybe like one, like 60, 170. Okay, cool, cool. 
Yeah. You have them in hand? Uh, yeah, I have them in hand. Yeah, okay, cool. You should size eight. I could do 150. 150, you said? Mm-hmm. All right, that's good. I'll come in later today. Oh, yeah, no problem. All right, thank you. No problem. These Tyson Front Runners are touching down, I'm seeing, because we bought two Desert, Sage, or Storm, whatever you call them. The new Front Runners, really, really cool looking shoe, I should say, or a slide. Definitely a shoe that I feel like is going to do well in the summertime. Perfect example, today is like 65 degrees out. It's going to be nice all week, so really looking forward to that. The shoes like slides and foam runners, it's going to be really good to have. Everyone's going to want them. It's a good shoe to have too when it's hot out. Taking pictures, listing some sneakers that's on the shelf that weren't up on eBay. Also taking pictures of some t-shirts. We've been doing that the last couple of days. You saw a size 9 UNC 6. Shout out to Nikki. She also copped the strawberry milks that was pictured or in the video earlier today. She also DM'd us and asked us about a UNC 6. Size 9 going out all the way to Indiana. So shout out to her. She's been copying a lot of stuff lately. She has not been stopping. So she's a real heat hunter. Again, just doing a lot of work. You know, days like that we've been having lately is really good for us to really get a lot of stuff tidied up and just organized and start to switch out the layout, layout a little bit. Because like I said, it's, it is starting to get hot out. So stuff like this, all these nice puffer jackets. We're gonna have to go in the warehouse soon. I don't know, maybe bring out more jerseys. See what people feeling this season because every year it's a little bit different. But that's about it for now, man. Just got more pictures to list up on eBay. We got a little bit of time left. Um, just get more work done, be productive today and see what else happens. How much you looking for for this stuff? Uh, 150. I was looking 150 for the Chicago Bulls. I would keep them, but uh, I, I found a size 10 um, bone, like mm -hmm. the, that light beige colorway. Mm -hmm. And I really only wanted to keep like one pair of that shoe. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I decided just, uh, even though I'm, I'm a Chicago Bulls fan, you know, I, I think they're gonna do good this year, but, but they're doing great. And how much are these? Uh, yeah, I'm just looking for retail to get my money back. And you have clothes, clothes too? Yeah, yeah, I have a few pieces, uh, some brand new and then like some like pretty different kind of stuff. Yeah, that's cool. Whatever you have, you bring up here. I got you. Like the McDonald's, uh, Travis Scott. What's your boss's name? Aaron. Aaron, I know he said he was like a vest guy and I had picked this up from like a flea market a while ago. It's kind of like a Sony like camera vest. Oh. I'm not sure if you guys would be interested, but pretty, pretty, pretty cool piece, yeah. I snagged it up, I wore it once, and it's cool and all, but it's a little too big for me. Not sure if you'd be interested in that. I had this, this Crew Ranger, New York Ranger, but still with the tag on it. Okay. We have the Supreme Sweatpants, the S logo, size large. I also had this, like the Who t-shirt. I, I wouldn't know if that'd be interesting. Pretty simple, old school like a hoo t-shirt. Would you guys be interested in the in the in the thermos? <laughs> uh, I did have the the flask as well. If you guys were interested in that, what were you looking for for this stuff? For this stuff specifically, with the, without this shirt or with this shirt? Oh, uh, without that shirt. Okay, uh, so this stuff in general. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, so I didn't like come in with like a specific price for everything, but I mean the shoes we already kind of settled that, right? Uh, yeah, you should. You want to retail? You want 150 here? How much here? You do like 80. Um, vest. Do like 40 for the vest? S logo. I was looking for like 110 for the for the S logo. Pretty almost almost what I paid for it. Just 110 for it. Oh, and then there's the Cactus Jack and the the NBA Lakers champ. Those two I might just pass on. Yeah, respect, respect. Uh, These two, right? Yes. Yeah. No. I think for the sneakers, I'll be at 360. So 220 and 140. So yeah, 220 and 140. Mm-hmm. And you say you want to pass on this stuff? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, what's the best way for you? Yeah, I was telling like you might be interested in something like it's like a Sony camera vest, right? I, I found it like like a thrift, kind of sick. What are you looking for? I asked for forty, but I'm gonna negotiate. I really came just because I've been watching y'all, so I was like, I kind of want to pull up. Plus, I wanted the uh, I wanted this bad boy. I'm definitely gonna leave with this. But yeah, I was like, man, I know he'd like this. I it's, watched one of your videos. Yeah, you're like kind of a vest it, guy. It looks big for a large. Yeah, Bro, but I mean, yeah. for me, like I wore it. Try, try it on. For me, it didn't. It, it, it wasn't it. But for you, it could probably. That shit on you. But I like you. That looks that more shit, like a uh, fit. It's hard, bro. That shit looks like yeah, Jurassic Park. You right? Dude, look at all the pockets you got. Like you can't even. There's like 18 pockets in that. I could just. Oh. Damn the Sony. It's a nice piece. I literally thought about you. I was like, he probably liked this. <laughs> so wait, how much are you looking for? I was like 40. Okay. Um, <laughs> and you wanted that? Yeah. You guys were asking for 50 for this. I don't mind throwing a tenner. I mean, can you can you add 20 to this for that? Uh, so I give you 20 bucks and I get this? Yeah. 
So it'd be like 30 for this technically. Uh, yeah, so can you kind of just deduct that? We from could do that too if you're yeah. cool with that. I just wasn't sure what this yeah, 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 yeah. So we said 140 and 220, which is 360. So just the three payout would be 340, right? My fault, I was just looking at <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll, yeah, he'll do it. That's fine. All right, all right, cool, cool. So pay out 340, you get that, and, and I'll leave it with it. Go to Safari with this thing. Yeah. Would you credit that 30? 30, yeah, and that says 60, but it's 50 because you guys said there was like a mark on it. Oh, right here, that mark right there. Yeah, man, don't worry about it. I'm trying to actually get into Jersey. It's so weird because I feel bad because someone asked about that the other day, and I sent him a picture, and he wanted more pictures, and I haven't had time to send it. Right. And then you happen to come by and grab it. Yeah. Like I said, I started watching a lot more of you guys last month. Oh, it was awesome. The moment I was looking through the videos and I saw it hanging there, I was like, man, I got a message to see if they got that. Yeah, that's <laughs> funny, yeah. Yo, man, so, if the Chicago end up pulling a miracle and winning, I'm going to bite myself. That's a big ass miracle. That's a big ass <laughs> miracle. Do you have a price in mind for them? Um, I mean, not what Oh, I they're used. Them. Yeah, I wore them once oh, okay, and then cool, they cool, didn't cool. fit. Me, so okay, cool. Yeah, I want to see what you guys, you know. Nothing in mind for them at all? Um. Say are you like stuck at five or you kind of just want to hear where we're, where we're at um well, what, what, what do you think what, what can you work like i mean i could say 350 and then we can go back and forth and then agree on four but i think i'd just be at 400 if i took them to be honest yeah. i think realistically they'd probably sell for like five to six yeah, yeah, yeah. online and then after fees you know what i mean no, I hear you. they are clean have yeah, you tried taking the insoles out and just rocking them so like, no, do that shit? i didn't want to do that nah, I feel you. yeah i mean every yeah everything's still out here you could do 425 i would do 425 to store credit but if cash I, I think i'd be stuck at the four to be honest so it's still 54 that's fine that's okay yeah, yeah right. you good. do you have venmo mm -hmm. zell Venmo? Either way. If you have would be great. Not Venmo. Um, if you prefer Zell, I can, I can try to Zell. Like, no, this says 75, we'll drop it to 65. This I said 60. This 65. Yeah. This I said I could drop to 40. So it'd be 340. Um, and I dropped this one, which I didn't say I was going to do, but it kind of like makes up for the hat because I dropped it uh, 10 bucks. That works. Do you guys need uh, separate bags or? Um, yeah, can we do that? Yeah, so much stuff is who's. So you got, I know you got the hoodie. Yeah. And you got these. Um, you got these two. Evan, yeah. that hoodie you might see on eBay. You got the jacket, right? No, he got the jacket. I got the 270. Is this one? Is all your stuff. And then here, 35 plus 15 plus 20. Yeah. And this is 70. 70? Uh, Apple Pay? Yeah. You said uh, 70? Yep. You want to just do it like this way right now, text it. For these, I know you guys already have these, so then this one's no bounce. Yeah, I was just like, how much are you for? I should think I would pair pants and go with them. You want me to get it or you want to it? Uh, I mean, you want to sell it together? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure, I'll check it out. Yeah, I think I called back before. You never yeah, no, no. Okay. No idea who signed it. Um, he's a water seer from Mark Bavaro. Yeah. Or tight end. Yeah, I think he might have been a tight end. What do you? Okay, so this stuff I don't think I'm interested in. Yeah, no this other stuff though. Let me just, if you don't mind, just put this on the ground. Yeah. Right. What are you asking for the jacket? For the jacket, probably like thirty bucks. I got it for a low. I'd be thrifting. Ever since I started watching your videos, I'd be thrifting in Patterson. Damn, really? Yeah, fact. That's what's up, man. Yeah. The jumpsuit. What kind? Uh, Price-wise, probably yeah. 25. For this whole suit or uh, for or each piece? Yeah, probably the suit. Like you gotta and you said 30? Because if you ask, I'll probably say no. And this? In. Honestly, I don't have the off. Like, it's where yeah, the market yeah, yeah. for that, so it's oh, like, it is up it is there. there. Like, but stuff like that, it's a little tough um, for us to move. Do yeah, yeah, whatever 20. you have, you want to bring tomorrow. Like, can you do uh, $80 total? That's, that's, a, that's a gross thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, no, just not this. All right, you keep this. Um, it's basically one, oh, two, three, four. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'd be stuck at the 80 just because this usually sells on even like 20, 30 shit after fees. That's really like 10, 15 bucks. Man. All right, gotcha. That's fine. That's cool, dude. Yeah. Uh, Venmo? Uh, yeah, this one. 
Heck, we bought a couple things here. Not gonna talk much about them, I guess, but you know, vintage stuff. Jordan, you bought some stuff. Not crazy. Nothing crazy. We got some shoes over here we'll talk about, I guess. So we got this shoe right here, the Nike Air Sensation. I asked Jordan and Berwin uh, what player wore this sneaker. They both didn't know. So what? three, two, one, Chris Webber, Chris Webber edition. Shouts to Chris Webber. Speaking of Chris Webber, March Madness, you guys know the story of that. Big time out in the corner like this. <laughs> Oh, coach, huh? My bad, coach. Oh, my God. Was it 1993? It might have been 93 because I had this video, right? They lost back to back. I had this video, and it was 1993 sports, and it was about the Cowboys. It was about the Bulls against the Suns, and I'm pretty sure it was about Michigan. Yeah, that was 93. I could be wrong. If 93 was the year that Michigan made the run, it all makes sense because I used to watch this video all the time. They used to always talk about this crazy timeout that Chris Webber called and ruined the game and blah, blah, blah. But enough about that. We got some other stuff. Something different right here. Hideki Nomo, another uh, classic sneaker you don't see. Starting to get nice out, that's always good. Obviously, short weather's coming back, daylight savings time. We've got a lot of work to do. We've been getting done a lot of work. Shouts to everyone who has been making purchases off the eBay store or coming in and saying, hey, I found these on the eBay store. I want to make a purchase. Speaking of that, come on, super, super clean size eight. We already had someone come in and say, hey, I, I, I saw these on eBay. Hopefully, I'll be able to make a deal on these tomorrow. And I'm pretty sure we're going to try to make a deal at least. What else happened today? Anything else? Oh, yeah, we got some Grinch Kobe's. You you guys know anything about me watching these videos i hate kobe but i like these nice shoe obviously i had a question what just because you said that jason williams said oh yeah i agree so you agree he, so what, okay. wait, wait wait what do you no, agree no. on he's not a top five laker no, no. or he's not top 10 all time jason williams that man played against kobe bryant so whatever we think doesn't matter i'm just gonna put it like that that man played against him y'all are on youtube right now go up in your google search and search kings vs lakers fixed series search that Right now, Kings vs. Lakers fixed series, and you will see probably why Jason Williams might have a little bit of spite towards the Lakers. But again, like I did see that and I saw people trying to roast him for it. The man played against the guy. The man was in the league with the guy. He has the right to his opinion. Let's you, think about it. Kareem, Will. Top five Lakers. This is oh, well, hold on. No, 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 real no, quick. Real top quick. five Lakers, right? Yeah. All right, all right. That, that's what he yeah. said. Well, well there was Kareem, top five Lakers and Will. Magic. Uh, Shaq. Shaq's not over Kobe. You're crazy, bro. Honestly, I think Will gotta go. Will won one. That man dropped a hundred points. Yeah. Get the f out of Will, here. Will gotta go. Will dropped eighty one. Will got five. Still? Nah, you can't say Will gotta go. Will play with like eight teams in the league. Will's arguably the best player ever to a lot of people. I, I to a lot of older it. guys. Will, Bill Russell. That's what they're gonna talk I, about. I prefer Bill Russell more than Will. I just feel like Magic, hundred percent. Magic is magic. Okay. When you think of Lakers, you probably think of Magic. Mm -hmm. You know. Showtime. Kareem, number one all-time scoring. He got a couple of chips. Shaq, dominant force, best big man all time. Other two you said, you said Wilt and... Wilt, Kareem, uh -huh. Shaq, uh -huh. Magic. Who's the fifth then? You know... I got Kareem, Shaq, and Magic. I mean, you know I like LeBron more than Kobe, but for the Lakers... Oh shit, I forgot about Bron. That's what I'm saying. I mess with Bron, even though you feel like I don't. I do mess with Bron. I just feel like Kobe is a Laker, bro. Yeah. 20 years or 18 years, whatever. He's a Laker. Like he got five. I get things. it. I get it. All, all I, all I gotta say is the guy played against Kobe. The guy played in the league with I Kobe. Feel you. The guy was in the locker room with Kobe. Like he has a right to his opinion. It's like the media they put these things out because they know people are gonna talk about it. So that makes sense, I guess. Speaking of that, I commented on LeBron's picture the other day where he posted 10K, 10K, 10K mm. after his team got smoked by. 29 points and i just said hey Bron, like you could have waited a day bro your team just got smoked and mad people started coming for me and i said bro i'm a big lebron fan i am you could have waited a day like my man's didn't even shower and he's on the instagram posting go to sleep wake up then post about it it's just sad for me because i'm a huge lebron fan you can't say michael jordan wouldn't do it because there's no social media but like no no i'm not saying that I'm saying, he's not doing that i'm Curry's saying not doing Ron that. has a a history of contradicting himself. Brian's a known liar. Like, Brian says one thing, mm -hmm. and shit don't even be true. I just, like, it, just it's hard for me like. to stand up for a guy who, you know, your team gets mopped by 29 points and you're posted on Instagram about your personal accolades. At the end of the day, you know, it's a team sport. I get it. It's an amazing accomplishment, but all I said was wait a day. Kobe's not in my top 10 of all time, but I'm not a fan of Kobe. It's Kobe okay. knocked my nets out. Jason Kidd's over Kobe for me personally. That is me personally. I don't care. I'm a big Jason Kidd fan. I hated Kobe Bryant. He was the villain to me. I'm not putting him in my top 10. Enough sports talk because we know the sports talk gets fishy because if our opinions aren't the same as y'all, y'all are going to go crazy and then, you know. Real quick, let me just show you my Larry Bird edition. You, you want the bounce pass? I don't know. What, what would Larry Bird do? Hook shot. 
No, no, no. I'm just saying. All right, let me just get a pass. You gonna shoot from back there? I don't know where I'm gonna shoot from. I just need a pass first. I just know he about to do some stupid ass dribble. Nah, yeah, I know you ready, bro. You're, yo, you're set version. up to do I'm some dribble, dribble. I'm Watch. In. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> <laughs> Alright, 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 alright. Till next time, guys. Oh, peace. What is up today is Wednesday. Look what we got here. We got some sales. Some good stuff, some bad stuff. Definitely some good stuff, though. This is probably my favorite out of the batch the LA to Chicago. Shouts to the dude who hit us up via DM. Saw them on eBay. We're gonna ship these direct to him. Then we got the what? The P Rod. Lightly used, in really good condition. UNC 6s, 700s, 2011 cool grays, which you don't really see that often. 2012 red 11s, another shoe you don't see as often. We got two sneakers I got in the most recent flea market video. Shouts to everyone who watched that. We got the flip threes, the red metallics, Burberry shirt, some staple pigeon pants, and we have a couple beanies to get. Shouts to everyone who ordered beanies. Special guest buckets in the building. Buckets, say hi. All right. Anything else, Jordan? Nasty batch. Aside from three sneakers, nasty batch. Besides the cool grays, breads, and I like the Chicago. It's just a nasty batch. I like these new maroon dunks. I, I don't know what they're calling them, like Team Red. I don't hate those. Speaking of nasty batch, we just bought a bunch of stuff. In particular, these are nasty for sure. I've never even seen these things, but they're pretty gross. Other than that, we got some Travis Scott sixes. We got the Supreme No Love by any means necessary dunks, which I thought were actually going for some money, but they don't seem to be going for much. Another used Travis Scott six, bro, and these are your size. Thinking about it? No, pass. Not really, not really your thing. Not really your style, Stilo. Anything else? March Madness, when does that start? Technically it restarted, bro. Oh yeah, shout to Kyrie, dropped 60 last night. I mean, it looked like he was trying to drop 100, and I'm not gonna lie to you, the way he was going at that rim. Good for him though, doing it for the unvaxxed out there. Shouts to Kyrie. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna take a picture of all this stuff, get it shipped out, shouts to everyone who's been supporting. We have a video dropping today. Burn, what do you think about that video? Pretty good video. I yeah. think this video is pretty good. Again, guys, we just try to show what actually happens, good or bad, in the process of running a business. That business being a sneaker and uh, cool stuff business. So, let's see what happens today. Thanks, man. Oh, so is it just those two he was looking for? Oh, yeah. Where are you from? Man? I'm from East Orange. I usually go to uh, like other stores. I just wanted to come here and just see how it is. I don't appreciate it, man. It's pretty dope. And we just had this all the time, or you like you thrift this stuff? Yeah, I just I thrift it. I'm, I go on whatnot and eBay and stuff like that. I was a Space Jam, yeah. super faded, but it's still good. Got anything in mind? Yeah, I got time. I want to see what okay. you're going to add. I have a question, man. Oh, okay. Thank you, man. I'll take it. We'll use them or two. Uh, thank you, man. Yeah. Faded, but it still looks good. I just feel like that's tough for us, just because. Did you buy it this faded or? Yeah, well, I, I like that faded. No, it, it so is nice. I just just for, bought it like that. Just you know, it's just. I'm just. It's tough for our audience. Just yeah. because like I'm finding like better condition ones for like like with you can see the actual picture and everything mm -hmm. for like one thirty. One thirty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. So, would you do 70 on this? I think I might just be far apart on this one, honestly. If this really, really clean prints going for like 120, 130, realistically, this is going to sell for like 75, maybe 100. So, I'm just like far off on this one, honestly. Ooh, what you thinking? 50. 50 is our credit for your cash, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Just because print's tough, man. Yeah. It is a fire, surely. Uh, what if I'm, I'm going to wait on this to see, like, this How much come up? How's that five for everything? Five for everything? For this stuff. So how much are the sneakers? Uh, uh, I got the sneakers around like 370 just because of the damage box. Oh, the little cut right there? Yeah. Nice. Did you make it 520? And what are you doing with the shirt? The space the shirt? I'll probably hold off on the, sh on no, the shirt. I'm not going to wear it then because I over. I overspent on it, so. Word, I feel you. So you passed on these two, right? Uh, oh, this, this pop, this entire okay. pop I passed on. Oh, yeah, this is the stuff store. I'm interested in. Oh, word, yeah, if you want to bring them in. Uh, you said 520, I'll meet you at 510. 510? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Use uh, pairs 230. Uh, we have new pairs for uh, 325. Cash app? I have a quick question. Oh, uh, yeah, that was uh, PayPal, Apple Pay, anything like that. We just don't have cash app. You know what, I'll take, yeah, Zell. Zell? Yeah, all right, cool. How much is it, Drew? 510. Oh, 
hold off on that one. Yeah. Um, I'm just looking for retail for that, but I paid 75 for it. And what were you looking for for this stuff? Uh, so 75 for that. Uh -huh. I was at 220 for this. Uh -huh. I was at 415 for this, and then retail was 95 and just 120. It's because I'm seeing a couple of sales within like the 450s. 60 ish range within like last month so that kind of like spooked me just paying that much for this one yeah. and we have another brand new one online yeah. too that's just sitting there the seven and a half yeah that one's just sitting there that's been almost like a year now just what would you do i just want to pass on this because this one's been high for a while gotcha. and just seeing the price now really just like really just smacked me in the face i'm not gonna lie yeah, I'm <laughs> um, trying to give you all my green joints but yeah man i didn't think it's gonna be i didn't think it's gonna be that <laughs> high, honestly that shit, i thought they were going for like four so what you thinking with this? I think at top dollar you might just be on stock hex. It's four fifteen for those is high. What right. size is that one? Twelve. Well, these two I'll be interested in. Alright. Um this one is just going for a hundred. Yeah, I can just, just return those. Yeah, I was gonna say just return just because it's like the recycling one, they don't do well. Even though some of the colors be actually really good. Yeah. You said one twenty here, two twenty two twenty here. Yeah. If we ran the two twenty here, can you run a hundred here? Just because this one's selling for um, the payout, the payout is like I know, but they're just selling for 150. That's the problem with this one. These are DS, these ones, yeah. But I can run the 220 here if you ran the 100 here. For you out of the T, the T, I'm just going to pass just because reprint stuff like that just don't sell well in here for us. If A wants to do something with the ALDs, then I could, I might be able to do that 100, but just because then I could just take those back as well. Yeah, 120. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, yeah. <laughs> what did you want for him? I was at 415. I could do the four if you want, and I could do the 100 and the 220. For real, like, I'm keeping 100. Like, there's just so many of them coming out. I'm like, yo, I could, like, vintage just sold of a regular one or some shit. And it's just, like, too much. Yeah, it's just, like, a lot for a shoe that's just when there's so many coming out. But so you said four, and you guys had the other deals? Yeah. I'll take a shot at 400 for him. How much? 720. Oh, uh, what's the best way for you? Oh, uh, you want to do Zell? We have a couple orders that sold. This is a uh, Nike 6.0. I have no idea, to be honest. As you can see, it has these like buzz saws. Just something different. I think these sold for under 100 shipped. We had them for a while. Next up, we have a Lightning, lightly used. And last up in this stack, we have the Clot Air Max one, which uh, I was never really a fan of, but I see why people like them with the invisible toe box. Bottom is pretty awesome though, I'm not gonna lie. So these sold, and this is what came in. First up, I just wanna talk about Playoff 12. Of course, love to see these come in. This one's seems to have a little bit of crease action going on still a beautiful sneaker hopefully we can continue to get these in for good prices and uh, here we have I guess a Kentucky blue Air Jordan 1 mid and last but not least we have an Ame Leon door New Balance 550 Jordan wanted to pass on these I feel him for sure because it's kind of like a, I don't know it's definitely gonna be a hard sale but we got it for a good price of 400 bucks sounds like a good price just because they're going for a little more than that but realistically are they selling not really but if all things remain the same I guess Yes, New Balance stuff will continue to go up. You know, this one hopefully will. But they are making a lot of colorways in the 550. So I don't know what you guys think. Burn, what do you think? Well, I personally love this silhouette. I love the sneaker. As far as the price goes. For this one. I think that one in particular, much. I think you're right about that. Like, it is a little much. Like, at that point, you might as well just get a, you know. But for the collectors out there, like, if you really want it, I guess it's, you know. That's true. There's only one way to get it. And as long as they don't restock them. You know what I mean? That's what we bought. Got some other stuff in. And let's see what else happens today. How much you want for this guy? Uh, I was gonna save that for last, bro. I was gonna do the kicks first. Oh, shit, Cause I got prices for the kicks. All right, cool. Yeah. Um, kicks, sure. how much you asking for? And these used too? Yeah, shit. These I was looking for three. Some ties, so I was looking for three fifty. Lightning, 225, and then cactus plants, three fifty. How much you said for the cactus plants again? Cactus plants, three fifty. Sakajima, my fault. How much was Sakajima? Oh, 350. But they're looking for like roughly like, looking at everything like 15, 16. I don't know what the jacket goes for. I'm just like, just throwing the price in my head. Yeah, so around there, bro. Yeah. You could do your you thing, you know, and then we could agree on prices on the kicks. Nah, yeah, really. I got a few of those. You want me to go, you want to go one by one with the kicks, or you want? Yeah, yeah, we'll go one by one. Right, yeah. The lightning, I kind of want to be at like 170. The lightning. 
you know, better for their... You want to do higher? Let's see what we come up to first. Yeah. And then see if we can work something out. Sakazi, I said 350. Yeah, 350. The moon grays, I kind of want to be at like two. These two are the tough ones because it's like it's really rare. Just because of the condition that one, the Sakai, I would probably want to be at like two realistically. Then for this... Air Force, kind of want to be at like two also, call like eight um, credit basically. And then the jacket, I know we have the jacket price that. The used ones I was finding, like the realistic prices were like around like 350. Essentially it's like, it is two for everything essentially because I was at eight, mm -hmm. I was at eight already. So, so with this, I was at like, like a thousand basically. I don't know if it was cool with you bro, but I don't know if you could do 1.2, like the ones that you said that were 200, each one's a 225, and then put the lightnings at 2, and the jacket at 3, and then call it 1.2. Yeah, that's cool with you. And then I'll have to add 5, or I'll come back with something else that's around 5. I was thinking 11. 11? I was thinking 11, so basically... Oh, you do 11.50? It was 2, 225, 225, 225, 225. Okay. Thing I gotta be firm at that 11. At 11? Yeah. If you wanna do 11, bro, that's cool. Man. But I'll be back though. What, are you gonna trade more stuff? Or yeah, I had, do uh, I don't know if it was cool with you, bro, but, um, I was gonna add 150 and then I would have 450 left. Uh huh. So I don't know if you would, uh, I have another, I have a jacket, that's the thing, I have this one. And it goes for the bread, but that'll probably be tough. I would say if you have like another pair of sneakers or something like that, one yeah, or two more pairs of sneakers. Yeah, like he was telling me two Burma, but it's like I don't know. I don't got no more sneakers on that I'm trying to get rid of. Nah, I feel you, but this is a girl piece, man. It's a I real know, it's, a, it's a girl <laughs> piece. Like sometimes when you see a shoe like that and you're able to attain it, like sometimes you yeah. gotta yeah, let go of something you can always get back down the road. Like I thought it was dead stock at first. I thought it was dead stock at first. They're clean, like like tried on it. You know, something like that, but really clean, man. Like, you don't see people with those too often. And it's so like, saying, yeah. personally, what I would do, I would get rid of something you know you could get back down yeah, the yeah. road. You want me to leave this stuff here, bro? Uh, yeah. it, it's, up, it's up to you, honestly, man. It's up to you, whatever you, you feel comfortable with. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> what are you looking at for these? Oh, uh, I mean, we had uh, 600 left over because I said I was going to have 150. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it's cool if you want to do around. Uh, four store credit. Now I can add another fifty, so two hundred. I was gonna be at three for the mochas. Three. Yeah, that'll be fourteen. And then I had two. We had them at seventeen. The unions. So it was eleven hundred. We had them at seventeen. You say you wanted to put one fifty. Yeah. Which means you owe another one fifty. Yeah. On top, so it'll be three hundred total in cash. Lock it. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. For a minute. It's been a minute. The Boshi and coming back. Hey man, this is worth it. These gonna last a week. How you wanna pay the remainder? The Vemo or Cash App? Uh, Vemo is cool. Right. You comfortable? Bro, this is the. You don't like that? It turns like. Piss green. <laughs> I actually like that. I wore it twice. That's the only reason why I like this sneaker because of that that yellowing on the back. If you, it just wasn't translucent too, I don't know. If it was like it could be a different color, but just. it gives it a character. It gives it a little character. Pre-yellowing, we looked at the shoe and said, nah, this shoe is trash. But with the yellowing, it gives it a character. It's a black and white shoe, so like it's playing without this. Like this is fire. Honestly, this is like the best part of the sneaker. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. I wore it twice. I was like, I can't. It's just throws me, it throws it. I mean, the best part of sneaker, man. Like, it's what makes a sneaker. What you looking for for this stuff? Uh, I'll try to just sell it. Probably want to be at like three mm -hmm. for the Kugre. For a frag, I want to be at like 160. 160? Yeah. Can we do 475 total? That should be cool, bro. All right, perfect. Uh, what did you pay you, Zell last time? Yeah, yeah. Zell, right, Yeah, Zell was perfect. That one? The safety one? Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Am I for my yeah, nice. Uh, what do you say, 30? Yeah. Caught it um, four flat. No problem. Here you go. Check them out. These are a 10. Just make sure they look good and everything. There you go. Good problem.
alrighty, it is about 6.18. Wrapping up here, just finished off the day, or I think we're gonna finish off the day. The nice sale, we sold a Red Thunder 4 and a Syracuse T, so shout out to that kid. As long as I've been working here, he's always been pulling up and cashing out, buying some good stuff, giving us, giving us some good stuff too, so shout out to him. He always um, supports us. So off here, we bought some Fragment 3s in size 13 and some Dead Style Pugre 11s and a 13. Shout out to him also, because he's also a really good um, supporter of the store. He always gives us some good stuff. We had a really big trade go down. Probably gonna be the biggest part of the video unless something crazy happens tomorrow. Shout out to Chris, he came. He saw yesterday that we had the Union one in size eight, I think. I asked Evan and uh, Burma if they wanted them. Evan said no, he'll go crazy because he'll need the other pair. And then Burma said no because he wants Chicago. So you guys got a Chicago out there, size eight. We're still on the mission for that only if it comes to the store. You know, a nice 550. What are you gonna have? 2015, no, no, no 2013 <laughs> pair. We don't want that, we, mm -hmm. want, we, want, we want this pair right here. We, that's the one we need. Let's start off here. Moon Gray from Runners. You don't really see this one too often. I remember we had a couple pairs in the first release. We thought they were gonna go down. We actually, they did the opposite and they went up. So this shoe is like 400 new now. Eight and a half lightning. Again, everything here is used, I believe. Really clean. These sell pretty well for us. So could never go wrong with a nice lightning. A shoe you don't see too often, but it is pretty up there in price, brand new. Used the markets all over the place. But again, the CPFM Air Force. This is like a kind of like a DIY. Every pair is different. But both of them has the um, red pipe outlining on both the um the fat bubbles i will call them the quality on these are really nice just needs a wipe down but again all stars small 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 tad uh hill drag really beautiful shoe here another shoe you don't see too often the og black sakai's they are smoke i'm not gonna lie but again there's no use pairs out there i think we could get a couple dollars for them we flipped the white one actually the the original white one that you guys seen in the video when um a bought the other one so another piece the north face supreme that's your liberty size medium now usually we won't buy stuff like this but but because of who he is and he's grabbing a big item got it for a really good price the season is changing because clearly i'm in shorts today but for the value that we got this at you know can't be mad at it i'll take that chance last shoe he left he wanted to come back because you know he had a couple extra dollars that um he needed to pay off so he went and grabbed something else as you guys just seen mochas size nine so everything in here is like eight to nine like i said he grabbed the union really good shoe there's certain sneakers out there that you know are grail worthy sometimes you gotta bite the bullet and just pay that extra dollar or make that trade because again you can always come back and get certain sneakers like a lightning a mocha these two like you can always come back and get this stuff you can't just always come back and get a um union you can't trade this stuff in online to get a union or like a chicago or a crazy off-white just something crazy just a little food for thought for any of you guys out there trying to get one of your grills and you see a store that has it you know sometimes you gotta you gotta do something a little crazy sometimes but again it's always worth it when you get when you finally obtain that shoe because you know it's gonna be so so much more it's gonna look better on your foot we got a couple orders that's sold throughout the day but we're gonna save it for tomorrow a lot of good orders black and white dunks we saw lebron a lot of good sales out there we we're talking about it off camera thank you guys for everyone who support us because you guys have really been supporting us and you know buying some stuff you know today's wednesday you guys know what that means new seg not new segment but when it done's now burns days on wednesdays <laughs> now i got thursdays a got tuesdays so you know we're gonna do a one and done soon let me find the basketball oh got the basketball right here burn anything for the people we got a video dropping tonight at 7 p.m eastern standard time hopefully you guys enjoy that video really good video that guy in the video all i'm gonna say is definitely got a good deal on those royals another thing i want to address is we were just talking today about how like the subscription rate has been going consistently like up that's really cool of you guys i think right now we're on the verge of hitting 70k which is insane and you guys are just killing it so i want to shout out every one of you guys from america the homeland the philippines wherever you guys are shout out to all you guys because you guys are really cool and you guys love the channel and love us so we're gonna keep going and we're gonna see what other content we're gonna get throughout the year but again shout out to you guys so back to jordan you're the man behind the lens bro runs all video operations any questions inquiries go to Berwin. yeah like Berwin said we got a video dropping today i actually forgot what kind of video it was until i saw the um ig picture that is a really good video he did get a really good deal on the royals we are officially on the one week countdown to Berwin's birthday oh, um shit. this video might <laughs> drop on his birthday possibly yeah, possibly right. you know we don't know yet you know we gotta see yeah see how we film but video might drop next wednesday so you guys this is actually perfect timing because when this video drop it'll be the day of his birthday so this is perfect so all you guys out there say happy birthday Berwin, because again without 
bro and none of this is possible these fire fits and these crazy edits and <laughs> these great videos in general you know all due to bro and so guys in the comments all my people from the philippines all my panoys i hope i said that i hope i, I, hope I <laughs> sentenced that correctly because i love the philippines Got a lot of filipino friends now that i think about it but everyone in the comments say happy birthday bro and i said if you guys want to send any gifts again five purple oh square carbon new jersey <laughs> zero seven zero zero six yeah you know bless bro and bless bro and <laughs> but again he's about doing one and done and you guys about to catch the crazy 90s fit we're about to switch rolls real fast get the rolex on the hand <laughs> We got the, the wallabies. A lot of you guys are too young for the wallabies. He's too young yeah. to know about wallabies I too, might but. Be. <laughs> Thanks for watching. One and done. In the wallies. Oh my yeah. gosh. Peace. Yeah, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not. YouTube, what is good? Happy Thursday. As you can see, we have a few sales. Two Air Max 95s. We got a pair of Dunks. Here we got a pair of the Shattered Backboard Low. Some cool gray 11s. Some Lightnings. And look at these. DS Toro Bravo 4s. Size 8.5. Got some beaters at the bottom there. Flyknit Royal 1s. Flyknit 1s, you know, they don't sell for much. And, you know, you get some bang for your buck there. I'm not going to lie. Here we got some cool jerseys. Look at this one, guys. Reebok Bethel High School, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. Stitched. This is a nice piece. We've had this for quite some time so i'm glad it sold and here we got a nice ranger ccm this one might have been a flea market find i'm not too sure but uh these two pieces are going out jordan anything for the people that find is sold for way more than i expected to be to be honest what's the dude name who bought the um, the starfish the cool john name? john so shout out to john because he's been doing business with us for a while and he always ships us really good stuff and he's always trying to do trades out of state and he always you know come correct and giving us good offers i really like those 95s in the top right corner aliens yeah the aliens i think they're called alien because the bottom has that green like mm, alien hit the color. oh the, the, the lace oh wait a minute i didn't even peep oh wow Damn. oh that's pretty cool Those yeah hard. oh and the insole i don't know if you can get that and then the ranger jersey because again we've been talking about hockey jerseys a lot here and then the bethel jersey just because ai is my favorite player so really happy to see that one go for me obviously the starfishes because i i wear those and then the toro you don't see those too often especially ds but you really don't see those too often uh they sell for over 600 bucks which you know it took a while but you know patience is something that you need when it comes to selling sneakers for high value because you can accept your first offer on a shoe but if you're patient enough you gotta wait a couple months maybe even a year i probably waited years i probably literally tucked those in the back and said hey i'm not gonna sell these for 350 i'm not gonna sell these for 450 i'm gonna sit on them until someone really bites the bullet that's what happened 640 dollars after fees so they paid i think seven or something like that we dropped the episode yesterday shout out to everyone who watched it doing pretty well hopefully we'll be able to continue to drop cool content for you guys i forgot to mention r.i.p to one of the goats scott hall razor ramon he was definitely one of my favorite wrestlers growing up and he was kind of an inspiration to me when it comes to uh not really caring about like what anyone thinks of you being the bad guy or the good guy or whatever guy you want to be and just kind of like living that so you know very sad day in the wrestling community i forgot to mention that the other day so literally the reason why i'll grab a toothpick here and there after dinner top shelf hey how's it going how's it going um i have a bunch of shoes that i'm trying to look to sell and i'm out of orlando florida what's the best way for me to do something like that are they new you know, are they new or used this uh variety i got a bunch of different stuff you have instagram i do yeah i sent you guys some pictures and stuff but i never heard a response or anything so Okay, yeah, we usually just get a lot of DMs. Sometimes it gets it gets lost oh, with the other messages. Yeah. Read DM us with prices and uh, what you're looking for for them, and then we'll go okay. about it from there. All right, perfect. Um, what about like stuff like old Nike basketball and stuff like that? Is that stuff that you guys are even? We'll take a look at it. Or? We'll take a, we'll take a look at it. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. No problem. Have a good one. Oh yeah, we got some orders that I ordered personally, so we might as well show off these right here. First, we got a couple Red Dog shirts, New Jersey Red Dogs. If you guys don't remember, that was an arena football team back in the day at the Continental. Airlines Arena before it was the IZOD Center. What's it called now? Is it still the IZOD Center? It is, right? I don't even know what they do with that. I, I think it's just there. It's, well, not much. <laughs> but anyway, back in the day, there used to be an arena football team. It was called the New Jersey Red Dogs. Eventually, they changed their name to the New Jersey Gladiators, and then eventually they moved from New Jersey to Las Vegas. Now, I believe the arena football team is still the Las Vegas Gladiators or the Las Vegas something, and they took away the New Jersey team. I think they did the same with roller hockey. They used to have the uh, New Jersey Rock and Rollers. There's no team there anymore. Found these on eBay. Oh, they're really cool shirts probably gonna keep one and put one on the rack other than that i found these two cool shirts since we're talking about wrestling this was an auction i won new age outlaws if you ain't down with that suck it 
<laughs> this one, I, you know, I wanted both of these for myself. I'm not the type of guy, I'm gonna be honest, to ask for measurements because I don't know, like if it says 2X, I'll take a shot. This one clearly does not look like it'll fit me correctly. So probably, uh, you know, add this to the wrestling shirt stash. This one also is really cool. This is the one, the main one I really wanted. Oh, if you didn't know, well, your ass better call somebody. You know, if you know about the new age outlaws, you know about that. Two cool wrestling shirts that came in for the personal. Yeah, I've been thinking about it just cause like, shoes been walking in and out like the metallic fives i thought about i was like damn that really is a top five j for sure like a metallic five is really like so symbolic to me it's just like i don't know i feel like fives get no love i might be going out on a limb here but was the five the first shoe to introduce 3m on a sneaker it might have been I believe it was that 3M tongue on the fives. You know, if you really think about that, what shoe before was doing that? I'm trying to think of an Air Max that might have had a 3M swoosh or 3M hint to it, but no. Again, tongue out, cameras flashing, flash, flash, 3M flash, Duncan tongue out, white laces. <laughs> white laces. He did have white laces on. He did. I mean, occasionally he had white laces on. Yeah, but, but uh, yeah, no. I mean, they're I was, definitely in my top shoes. Cause I was thinking about my top five today. I'm just sitting. It's like, wow, that's really a top five sneaker. And just like seeing people asking for that shoe a lot lately, and just seeing that the talk we had on Friday, Ray Dooman, who bought the eleven and a half, and just like the appreciation of it. I was just like, damn, bro. Like, I gotta whip these back out. Like, it's been a while. If another pair comes in. Like, I gotta cop this. But that's the shoe I think I gotta double up on. Speaking of uh, that, I threw these on today, and these are black toes from 2013. I have plenty brand new pairs you know and and whatever i have i have pairs that i wear that are in better condition but man something about throwing on a beater pair is just hold it to your foot it just feels great and it's crazy because growing up middle school high school i remember like walking to class and, and having like the same pair of air forces and being like damn when i have enough money i'm gonna have the cleanest shoes all the time and now that i have shoes all i do is wear beaters and i'm proud to say that because like i don't know that's just like they look amazing like the scuffs the yellowing the fact that i could just wear them in the rain and not care and like you said they're like molded to my foot like i haven't worn these in probably like a year because yeah. they've literally been sitting there like yeah. cooked top shelf yeah uh, i'm calling i'm saying uh you guys still have those uh toro fours in the size 13. yeah we do all uh, right hey uh i'm in knoxville tennessee i was just wondering uh would y'all be willing to uh swap out the uh the thunder the red thunders size 13 plus cash on on top how much cash were you, were you thinking uh 100 100, all right. Yeah, it's fair. That doesn't sound terrible. Uh, you just have to ship it to us first. Like 280 or something like that. Yeah, that, that's fine. We can do that. You would just have to ship the shoe out to us first. Um, we just yeah, not a problem. I, I figured that. Yeah, we'll, we'll inspect the sneaker and everything like that. Once everything checks out, we'll ship it right away. Uh, hey, man, it's, it's, it's funny talking to you, man. I'll be watching y'all videos and all that good stuff. But uh, can you uh, please send me uh, a couple of upcoming uh, pictures I see you know, just 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 a little scrapes and stuff? Uh, I just want to see how the, uh, how the new fucking stuff is. Do you have it looks like a pretty clean clean turn from your photos but can i get a couple of more uh better pictures you have instagram yes i do so dm us on instagram just saying you just got off the phone with us or you just got off the phone with me just say that like you want more pictures of the twirls and then as soon as you dm us we'll get it right to you all right man thank you man i really appreciate you no problem man we appreciate it have a good one like he was saying i forgot who else to talk, tell this to but like you said there's something about a beat one out of all my ones the bread fits me the best because technically it's smoked it just adds character to it like it really makes you feel like like it you got so like you got a fresh pair of 85s like yeah just everything the scuffs the yellowing the fact that they have no stars the fact that the heels are coming in it's just like on feet they just feel like you just get this feeling they shit on a brand new pair and it, yeah it sounds crazy but like i felt like if i had if i were to put on a brand new pair right now i'd be just, i'd just be like walking weird and i'd be feeling weird and it's just like you know it's the same with anything I just feel like you're more comfortable in something that you, you know, got a lot of use out of. And again, I just think it's just crazy to think back and be like, I'd never be caught dead. Walk like, well, I would be, but I'm just saying like, you feel like shit when you walk into high school or you walk into middle school with a beat pair of shoes. And it's funny because it's always been that for me. Like for years, it's been that. Now you're saying that it is a wave because you're right. Because people are doing the yellow the midsole, yellow the I tongue hate, out. I hate that. I hate that. Add the scuff. I, I mean, corny. hey, even I think uh, it's corny. Like why, why add scuff where it's not really scuff? Because it's like even you like designer shoes do that now. And people, people get. Ooh, like like oh my god that's fire but like it is really weird because like you want to wear like a smoke pair of asics but you'll buy like a smoke pair of balenciaga yeah. or something like, like that. like if you really want to smoke your shoes out wear them in the rain don't clean them leave them in a dusty place let them sit there and get dusty wear them in the snow wear them in the rain let that yellowing hit and i know a lot of people probably in the comments are like oh my god it's crazy those are disgusting how could you do that especially when you have a new pair blah 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 i don't know i just you know it's a good feeling you also 
can never forget where you actually came from or how this all started. Like, you know, your love for sneakers started running through Jordans, running through shoes, having the same pair all the time, having to wear it every day, having memories in it. So uh, it just brings you back to a time. So I had to mention that part. Anything else? I'm March Madness starts today. I know nothing about it. I don't, I, well, I have Let's Kansas. Prediction. I have Kansas or Arizona. I think they're on opposite sides of the bracket. Rutgers smoked it yesterday. Like, did you guys watch that game or see the highlights at least? They lost? Yes. Uh, they should have won in regular, over, regular time. Went to overtime, gave up a, um, a game tie-in layup. Went to double overtime, gave up a game winning layup. They just suck. They just suck. Like, ugh. They need Jordan out there. That's no. what they need. They need Gary. That's what they need. I told Gary, <laughs> try out. I told, I told Gary, not? try out, bro. Like, get a bucket. Might as well. You know, ain't got nothing to lose. Might as well. Shouts to Gary. All right, uh, let's see what else happens today. Go for the Oreo. As as I can. It's brand new, never warm. Actually, just got them in there. I ain't got nothing small, like fours, like beluga. Beluga, right? So you got the belugas in a four? Like Possibly. four, four and a half. Yeah. I got double checks for the size. And how much you say you wanted for these? Um, Pretty much all open as just as much as I can get for them. Uh, can you do 260? How much are the belugas? It depends uh, if they're four. Cause these usually get like a size up, right? She's yeah. a three. She's a three? She's a three youth. She's a three youth, so four and a half might be too small. The red vermilion foam runners. The only thing we have in the three. Um, and mm -hmm. a, uh, yeah. And a four, we have a sand taupe 350, which is literally the one next to the, um, the clays, and then we also have a uh, wave runner in the four. Also, all three are uh, brand new. How much the other ones? Uh, the foam runners are two twenty-five. Uh, let's do so let's just do like a little trade. All right, so take the rest uh, cash. Uh, I could give. If I said two twenty-five, I could throw you thirty-five on top, which would make it two sixty. So two sixty. So you do like the two twenty-five. I owe you thirty-five. Right, let's do that. Right. 10, 20, 30, 35. There you go. Appreciate my man. Have a good Thanks, one. Hi, bro. Uh, how much you looking for for these? Uh, they are worn. Uh, I wore them like four times or something. Uh, they turn to have. I'm not sure like what they used. Like, how much that would go for? I know the new ones are going for a lot. But... You have no price in mind that you want for them? I was thinking around like 200, 220. Well, only probably be like 100. You try putting them up yourself? Yeah, I tried putting on goat for a while. I say try throwing them up on like eBay or something like that. eBay? Yeah. Okay. You'll probably get like 150, 160 for them. Alright. Yeah, I'll try that. How much were you looking for? Uh, 225. How much were these? I was thinking like 150, 150, 160. Can you do Zell? Um, yeah, let's see if we do What's the number? Alrighty, today's a little slow day, but it's okay because we're posting a lot of clothing. We're posting a lot of new product that we just got yesterday. TikToks, a whole bunch of stuff we're getting done today. Before I jump into that, let me just double check. I believe this buyer paid for this already, so I think this officially sold. All right, we sold this, this regular Nike basketball t-shirt. I think this is supposed to be like an all-star type of t-shirt, because it's giving me the, you know, the NBA shorts? Mm. And it reminds me of the EE shorts, so I think this is like supposed to be like an all-star t-shirt or something like that, but size 3XL, it was just sitting on the rack, and you know, I saw Burn start putting up t-shirts last week, so I figured let's just continue with that and just put up more stuff, especially stuff like this that doesn't really sell in store, and just sit on the rack. So this sold, but really happy about this one, because I just put this one up not too long ago, probably like two days ago, so pretty good. Got a bunch more stuff going up, got a bunch more stuff to take pictures of. We're going to start here first. These are the Shadow Low 1 golf shoes. Kind of funny, because I kind of do need some golf shoes because I'm supposed to go golfing in two months. Ooh. <laughs> I suck. <laughs> this is going to be embarrassing, but I'm going for the opportunity and the experience and just meet people and stuff like that. So these are really cool. I've been thinking about getting a pair. I might get these just because it's black and gray. It goes with everything and anything. So you got to stay dripped out on the course. You know what I'm saying? These actually believe they're going to go up. This is the second pair we have. I forgot the other size we have, but you know, golf shoes aren't a bad investment. If you can wait, they're going to be a long-term hold because we saw the metallic green fours and we held those for quite some time and you know we got some good change for that one you guys know how we feel about the playoffs we got a size 11 and a half and 12 boom 
Just look at that beauty. The sneaker is really beautiful. I'm not a fan of 12s. I never had a pair of 12s. Just 12s is not for me. It never, it's never been. But this one right here, man, this is uh, this is definitely one that will make me go and buy one. This one right here. This one is really, really beautiful. Like A always says, and he said it multiple times already. Him dunking on a tumble in these. It's like you can never go wrong with an OG. And the OGs are always gonna hold value and weight, no matter what it is. So we got size 11 and a half and size 12. My pair should be coming in tomorrow. Well, technically Ace pair should be coming in tomorrow. It's about 3:30. You know, watching a little March Madness right now Baylor's waxing Norfolk State got a couple bets in I'm not gonna lie had to it's March Madness Burn got the full St. Patty's Day fit Burn's fit reminds me of like Will Smith <laughs> it reminds real Smith and it's, it reminds me of um it's like an 80s fit if your pants were tighter is that an Eagles jersey or a Jets jersey it's just a regular jersey <laughs> so you got the Jets hat let me see the back of the jersey <laughs> Interesting. I I hope I hope Berwin doesn't have two different NFL teams on. <laughs> if it was two sports, I'll let like that's fine. Two different NFL teams. You can't do the same sport with two different teams. <laughs> I'm gonna give him the benefit of doubt and say that's a Jets jersey. But I think that's an Eagles jersey. Shit, I'm gonna find out. <laughs> I'm gonna find out. I think that's I'm telling you, I think that's an Eagles jersey. The, the green looks a little bit different from the hat. And I, I gotta do some research. But we are six days away from Berwin's birthday. Or when you guys see this video, but it was yesterday. You know, give them a little gift, a little something, something, oh cool stuff. <laughs> you know, Chicago won. You guys want to sell? Five Pro Square, call New Jersey, 07006. <laughs> I have one. A has one. Evan needs one. Burrow needs one. Anyone out there in the size eight? We can get away with a eight and a half. Preferably an eight. You know, slide in the DMs for the right price, though. Yeah. For the right for price. Sure. Don't enter the DMs asking for 1600, 1700. Nah. <laughs> Mm -mm. And I'm sorry for everyone who keeps DMing and asking. Oh yeah, you want to you want to address that real quick? Yeah, let me let me get a little public service announcement. Everyone who's asking for the size 10 Chicago, we want a 10 and a half. We got a 10 and a half right here. 10 is gone though. You know, it's in my closet, my collection now. <laughs> it's one of them sneakers. It's like like A said, it's you know, one of my many sizes. It is one of my many sizes, but it's one of them sneakers. Like if I can get away with it and it's not a problem, you know, I gotta I gotta you know I gotta snag it. Mm -hmm. I don't know when a nine and a half is ever gonna walk by. I can't trade on gold and stuff like that. It's a girl sneaker so you know i apologize to everyone out there who keeps dming berwin and commenting <laughs> and dming us and calling and stuff like that because you know i had to man berwin would not have spoken to me if i yeah. didn't grab the sneaker honestly if something like that happened like if a nine came in i'd be like fuck it <laughs> <laughs> see see and it's like you know i wasn't gonna buy that sneaker you know a persuaded us not to until it walked into the store <laughs> it's like they clean i can trade i have stuff to trade for it so like we always say it gotta make sense it made sense so mm -hmm. the next 10 one of you guys out there one of you lucky fans and subscribers can grab it but you know for now i gotta grab the one first so you do have this 10 to have, so. have 10. i'm telling you any brand fours any chicago one bread one black cement Actually, my threes, that's a big question mark. I'm not gonna lie. But any of those sneakers, any of those OGs, I'm done. I got all the OGs besides a white cement three. That's the only OG I don't have. So if that comes in a nine and a half, maybe a ten. <laughs> <laughs> but all other OGs are free game. I just had to address that because Berwin is like my PR right now. So everyone keeps DMing him, asking about the size and stuff like that. It's gone. Okay? It's gone. <laughs> It's never coming back. <laughs> Ready wise, I feel like these three right here, I feel like I can get the arm maze with those, both these three. Okay. And then the rest you could just put towards. Like you just, it don't even matter what the price you got for. Shit. <clears throat> those brand new suits? They're brand new. Put it down, make sure it's good. So you said these three you wanted to do for these? Yeah. And then the rest you could just add it towards that. So what we have them up at like five or something like that online. yeah i was thinking if y'all could do like 450 for them yeah i could definitely drop the price so i know these is like 296 i was like if y'all give me still credit so i was thinking like payout y'all give me still credit like three and then these two one each that are even out to that right, bad, bad. the, the purists i think is the first release because it's they got the restock and then they have yeah. the first release then the other ones i have the pure and then the um the upgrade yeah the other ones those was the these three for the Amos are cool. That's cool with me. I think we have the two look for like five. Five fifty. Yeah, I was gonna say because I wanted. I was gonna see if you could do these for four fifty and then these for five. I ain't asking for too much to take down. Yeah, that's not terrible. Five doesn't seem bad. There's like a handful of people that I know mm -hmm. who actually like the black. Like someone just came yesterday and said, "Nah, the black's ugly." Yeah. I, mean, it's, I guess it's just wear with it, honestly. Yeah, the black is just different. It's, you're not gonna see no one really wearing it black because it's quote unquote ugly. It's just yeah. different. That's why I like it. It's like no one's gonna wear it. 
Everyone's going to defer to the white. And three. Three? So far. I'm at three so far. So, like, they're not too far. I have two shoes. Other two shoes that I could use for it. But I'm trying to just use this. So I don't have to use the other two what's, shoes. What's the other two? I got a cool grave. Dead stock. Size 11. That, I know that is... If they already go for three. I know that it just even it out right there. And what's the other one? And then I had a um, it's a Yeezy 350 um, Beluga. That's a that's a uh, ten though. I feel like either one would probably help me. Either one, I know regardless. Oh, well, the Courier would definitely. Yeah, I know definitely. Top. Yeah. I just want it to just be even. I don't want to have to use the desktop Cougar if I don't have to. Honestly, now looking at condition, I think the Beluga will put you at even. At even. Just, just gotta look at them, but where I'm at right now, a beluga yeah, will, will probably make it even. Alright, bet I could do that. Um, back, back. Yeah. They're 10 and a half. Yeah, 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 they're 10 and a half. The hats are off too. Mm hmm. So this is a different. Maybe I'm gonna look up just because 84 is just classic. Oh, those threes. No, those threes. Those threes. Yeah. This stuff too. Uh, that well, that those three was for the Amos. Oh, okay, okay, that's, that's the yeah, so those were new, yeah, everything there, oh, okay, then, cool, cool. Then everything else is for the um, the twos, and this stuff uh, for passing on, right? Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that stuff. And he said, honestly, that stuff you just donate, yeah. If, if anybody need it. anything, you could just give it to them. That one, I think, had this, it had a separation, right? This one does a little bit, yeah, yeah right there, too. I hope the nose. Wait, you're talking about all this stuff, yeah, because I like literally, it literally sits like in my. In my room, under my bed, and I'll be at school most of the we time. We gotta give, we gotta give you yeah. some credit towards it if you want to, if you just want to get rid of all of it. I mean, we. That's we, what I'm saying. Well, everything. Yeah, that's what I told him when I first got here. Everything. Give me credit. Like, I don't even have to like give me money. Just give me credit. Cool with that. I'll be in here a lot anyway, so I'll come back home. So. As I said, if you just want to think of a price for all this, is technically he's even right here with the hats too. You want to get rid of the hats too? I mean, whatever ones he he ain't tell me which ones he wanted. He just. I was just picking first, cause like yeah. this stuff right here. Yeah, we already got this out the way. Yeah. So like these, like these two is yours. That's all good. Then now it comes to this stuff. Like, how much you want for all the hats and all this stuff? I actually didn't have no price in mind, to be honest. The hats. Or I was gonna like shop around CBC t-shirts or something too. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna see what credit I had first, like on everything, and then I'll just. Cause I was gonna say, if you want to donate the shoes, like obviously, like we can give you some type of credit for everything if you got something in mind. I'm gonna just throw out a number four feet, forty feet each pair. With the hats too. With How's it going? Hats. Yeah. Um, what hats do you guys want? You want all the hats? Well, I, well, the the shoes was the, everything I wanted to donate. The hats was just oh, that was separate. Yeah, that okay, was separate. Cool. Yeah, that but was separate. let's say we did all the shoes and the hats. Honestly, I'll keep some of these hats. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, but I say the army fatigue when I. So you know, forget the hats. These, these, not, these, these, I'm cool with those. You okay, can have cool. those. I'm so cool. let's talk about the shoes and. Um, Let me see what hats I could take. Forty each might be tough if if we we're like I was just thinking because you said you know donate yeah. them so I'm trying to like give you some sort of credit. I just threw out a number so we could like, get yeah, something. Yeah, I got you. you. Know. Uh, maybe I like mean, I, I look around and then yeah, look around. Yeah. Go from there. Was there anything you saw out there? I mean, honestly, just that T-shirt right there. Probably like this stuff for that T-shirt. Honestly, because you had that T-shirt pretty high. But the with the hats or just the shoes. Probably the hats. Stuff. You selected the hats or he selected? No, nah, I selected them. Uh, hat. Pretty good, man. These hats. So it's not like, like 150, 160, 170, probably. Yeah, I mean, if that was cool with you. Oh, how much is this shirt? No, nah, he told me already. Yeah, he oh, said, okay. I'm saying like for the shirt. Incredible. Like this for the shirt. Oh, I mean, yeah, if you want to do that. Whatever. This is more easier than I thought. <laughs> Yo, good luck. Right, my boy, appreciate you. I'll definitely be back home. on Saturday. Yeah, I'm going, y'all. Right, the big trade, I guess you can say, just went down. He just traded a lot of stuff in for some Ama Maya ones and the Jordan 2 black off whites. It's kind of spooky because we were just talking about that shoe earlier today because someone offered, I think, like 450 and we were thinking about it because it's damaged box. Lo and behold, someone walks in, sees it, and we get what we wanted for it so really happy about that um he traded all this stuff right here so six sneakers for the off-white twos then we got a couple slides and some more lightnings for you guys man a lot of this stuff is just i know you guys are looking like oh my god he gave all that up only for 150 but again a lot of this stuff is just like you know just heavily used and just like doesn't go for a lot of bread like a lot of stuff is gonna be like 40 dollars 50 dollars if that it's already six o'clock iowa just smoked my parlay so march madness is in full effect today so that's that thing yeah today was a pretty relatively slow day did ace said talk about the package or wait or wait to pack it wait to pack it okay top shelf that again i can't really hear you the pistachio dunks yeah the pistachio dunks 
Uh, what size? Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Uh, they're brand new. Uh, yeah, brand new. The only thing is I'm on the Where you at? California. California. How much were you looking for? Uh, like three fifty. Uh, yeah, that seems fine. Uh, how would that look like? Just ship it to you guys. Uh, you'll ship it to us. We'll check them out once once everything passed. Then you'll get paid. The address from like where you guys have it on. That's where I ship it to. Yeah, or you can just DM us too, just to double check and get the address. But our address is in our bio also. Okay, so you think it's just better to DM you guys then? Yeah, just DM just to confirm with us. Alright, then I'll DM you guys right now then. Alright, man, have a good one. Top shelf. Hey, good question, man. Um, you guys put a Air Max 90 to infrared size heat on the video last night. I was wondering, what was the price on them? And uh, are they lightly used or a uh, little bit more than lightly? They already sold. Sorry about that. Oh, wow. That was quick. Alright, thank you. All right, how we going? Erwin, the influencer. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. But before we log off and I knock down this one and done, he's going to talk about a few packages real fast. All right, guys. Here we have a couple things that sold. I might look crazy. I don't really care. A Star is Born once, used size 7Y. Here we got some pennies, used size 12. This one I have to talk about. This is super creepy, guys. Four years ago today, I found a crazy collection at the flea market. Popped up on my Snapchat story memories. I could take you guys back to that time. Four years ago. Ago, woke up by 8 a.m. laying in bed. I was cold. I didn't want to get out of bed. I didn't want to go to the flea market. I went on uh, Instagram. I saw a lot of people went there already. A lot of people found this crazy collection. And I'm just sitting there in bed like, damn, like I'm too late. It's cold. I'm not going to make it. There's not going to be anything there for me. And then I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I got to give it a try. I go there and literally end up buying over 100 pairs. All the cash liquid at the time I had to my name, I went all in on this collection. I bought everything. And uh, that night, I just remember literally sitting on my hardwood floor taking pictures. I like rigged up these light bulbs and this lamp to like help with the lighting i had this background of all these sneaker boxes and i was like damn i have to get all my money back so i have to start listing this stuff asap so i listed like 100 plus shoes in the next couple of days and it was just like a crazy experience and it's just crazy because this shoe just sold today and this is one of if not the best shoe out of that pack i mean there's a lot of really good shoes in that pack but i had like three pairs of these and it's just crazy that literally it happened to sell today so this is the brand new air max one i believe it's called the anniversary pack from 03 or 05 something like that but man it's just a beautiful sneaker and it's just crazy the timing of that for this to sell the exact four year anniversary of me grabbing this collection it also just shows you guys that like again this uh selling reselling thing uh collecting hoarding whatever you want to call all this stuff it's like it's not you can't just snap your fingers and make things happen sell these for four hundred dollars it took four years literally you know to find the right buyer for this particular pair so just crazy to see that happening and definitely just uh you know, hard work. Hard work goes a long way. If I didn't wake up and I didn't go to the flea market and take a risk and say, hey, even though it's cold, I got to go and at least try to uh, acquire something, I would have missed out on probably my biggest come up I've ever made sneaker wise because to this day, I'm still selling pairs out of that collection. So it's just like a really cool. So anyone out there, obviously, you know, keep hustling. You never know what day it's going to be that day where it's like kind of your big break where you like hit a really big lick. So don't stop. And off with that, you know, me knocked on this one and John. Who had the belt? Oh, he does. Guys, we always know who has the belt. It's yeah. invisible, but it's on me at all times. Big power rules right here. <laughs> <laughs> got all red. Big Look, power. man. I was feeling today. <laughs> all right, guys. Here we go. Thanks. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> I'm a little nervous.